Welcome back to Barnes Bullets. I'm Mike Painter. Today we're going to discuss all things ballistics. Internal ballistics, external ballistics, and terminal ballistics. These terms can be confusing. In this segment, we're going to discuss them in a little more detail and help you better understand. Let's get to it. We're discussing ballistics, and first we're going to start with internal ballistics. Now internal ballistics is what happens when the firing pin strikes to when the bullet exits the muzzle. We've already talked about ignition and that whole process. So what we want to talk about today is the equipment and some of the instrumentation that an ammunition manufacturer is going to use in order to measure the pressure and velocity to ensure that we have safe and reliable performing ammunition. So as a hand loader, internal ballistics, you're not going to have this fancy equipment. You're not going to be able to measure pressure, but you can measure velocity. You're going to be following load data that the manufacturers put out where they use this equipment to ensure safe and reliable loads, where they're gonna show you what powder to use, what charge and grains to use of that powder with a given cartridge and bullet weight. What we have here is pressure testing equipment. This is a universal receiver with a pressure test barrel, and we have a conformal transducer. This is some of the instrumentation and equipment that goes along with that, so that when we're developing loads, we know our pressure and our velocity is within specification. You're gonna get the performance and the reliability that you're after. Let's take a moment and talk about external ballistics. External ballistics is the moment the bullet leaves the muzzle until it hits the target. External ballistics is very important because if we want to hit our target at extended ranges, there's external factors that affect the bullet. Now you'd have to know a whole set of mathematical equations and solve those to figure out your solution at a certain range. Luckily for us, we have ballistic calculators. With your ballistic calculator, it's very important to know your BC or your ballistic coefficient. So what exactly is that? A BC value is the bullet's ability to overcome air resistance during its flight. In other words, it's a parameter to describe a bullet of how quickly it loses its velocity in flight. Now a high BC bullet, that means a bullet's going to lose less velocity than a lower BC bullet. From zero to three, 400 yards, this doesn't make as big of a difference comparing a high BC bullet to a low BC bullet. But when you go beyond three, 400 yards, the effects are amplified. And now a high BC bullet is gonna have a higher retained energy, less wind drift, and less bullet drop. Now when we're talking BC ballistic coefficient, there's two common drag standards, a G1 and a G7. So you'll commonly hear G1 BC and G7 BC. A G1 BC is a reference to a reference projectile that has a fairly blunt shape with a flat base. Now a G7 fits more of sleek match bullets that has a longer sleek nose and a feature as a boat tail. So when you're entering that into your ballistic calculator, you want to make sure you select the right drag curve for your bullet. The ballistic calculator needs accurate inputs to give you a correct solution. We talked about muzzle velocity and BC. We also need to know what the atmospherics are, such as temperature and pressure, and also your zero range. When you enter that into your ballistic calculator, it'll give you a firing solution so you know how much the bullet drops at known distances. It's always good to go out to the range and verify your firing solution and true up any discrepancies in case your inputs aren't quite right. <laughs> We're going to discuss terminal ballistics. What is terminal ballistics? Well, that's just that. It's the terminal effect of the bullet when it hits a live target. Now, as a target shooter, if I'm shooting steel or paper, it's not as critical. But as a hunter, it's very important to understand that you're using a bullet that's going to do the job in order to ethically take down whatever game it is you're after. Now, as ammunition manufacturers, one thing we use to test the terminal effects of a given bullet is ballistics gelatin. Um, this ballistics gel is an industry standard. It represents soft tissue, and we're able to take measurements of the wound cavity. We take measurements of expansion, weight retention, penetration, temporary wound cavity, and permanent wound cavity. As you can see from this example, this is a 300 blackout, 110 grain TAC TX. You've got very good penetration, excellent expansion and weight retention, as you can see from the retained bullet but you also have rapid expansion. As soon as it enters, it opens up, 
creates a huge wound cavity and also penetrates deep. This is one example that works excellent as a hunting option, whether it's deer, hogs, whatever it be, even a small cartridge like a 300 blackout, with the right projectile, you're gonna get that terminal performance that you're after. Hammered him, baby. We've discussed all things ballistics. We hope that you've gained some information and some knowledge that'll help you become a better hunter and a better shooter. And like always, if you have any questions, hunting, shooting, ammunition related, feel free to give us a call, contact us, email, Facebook, all those good places, thanks.